New York City is one of the most popular, bustling and lively cities in the world and for good reason. It really is the city that never sleeps, but there are a few things that you should know before you go. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and these are 10 things to know before you go to New York City. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. Number one, create an itinerary. This first tip may sound obvious, but New York offers so many things to see and do, and you don't want to find yourself missing out. Make a list of all the attractions you want to see and plan these into your days so that you don't miss anything. So use this itinerary to book tickets in advance or get a New York City pass to skip long queue times at popular attractions. Number two, allow more time. Whilst you are planning your New York City itinerary, make sure you allow more time to get from one place to another. Google Maps may say something is only a 10 minute walk, but with the crowds in New York City, double that. Plus, if you are catching an Uber or cab, remember that New York has many one-way roads and traffic. Moreover, the subway often has delays, so just plan extra time to get from one place to another. Number three, use a map. When planning your itinerary, make sure that you use a map. You'll be able to see a lot more of NYC if you visit attractions that are near together and chunk these into your day. For example, whilst visiting Times Square, allow time to also head over to Rockefeller Center, take in Broadway, see Radio City Music Hall, visit Bryant Park, and you can even walk over to the Grand Central Station and Chrysler Building too. My next tip is to learn the rules of tipping. Whilst in New York, you will be expected to tip, whether it's in a cab, restaurant or hotel. A general rule is 15 to 25% of a bill in a restaurant, whilst cabs have an automated system where you can select a tip percentage. Another thing you need to be aware of is how to get to and from the airport. As you arrive in New York City, you will be inundated with transport offers. Avoid the unofficial taxi companies by ordering an Uber or heading straight to the yellow cab taxi stands. Alternatively, you can catch an air train from JFK to Howard Beach stop and change to a local subway or get the M80 bus from LaGuardia into Manhattan. Number six, hailing a cab. When you're getting around New York, you may want to hail a cab. To do this successfully, you will first want to make sure the one-way traffic is heading in the right direction to your destination. If it isn't, then walk a block either way. Then when hailing a cab, make sure the light is on on top of the taxi. If it is off, then the cab is already full. My next tip is about saving money on your trip. Visiting New York City can be so expensive, so make sure you save money when you can. Get yourself the New York City Pass for the best attractions in the city at a discounted rate, visit the free attractions in the city too, and use the ticket booth for cheaper Broadway shows. We actually have a blog post on how to save money on Broadway tickets over on our website, Creative Travel Guide. We will make sure we leave the link in the description below if that is something you are interested in. My next tip is to not be afraid to use the subway. When traveling around NYC, try to use the subway to save money and in some cases time. Download a subway map on your phone or use Google Maps, buy a Metro card, read the signs carefully and ask if you need help. One more tip for subways, avoid the empty one. Sometimes you will find a train that has an empty subway car, but there is probably a reason for this. Perhaps it doesn't have aircon or there is an unpleasant odor, but 
but follow the locals on this one. My ninth tip is perhaps one of the most important lessons that we learned there. Do not stop. Whilst in New York City, it is definitely tempting to stop and take pictures all the time. If you want to stop in the street for any reason, make sure you move to the side. This is a city that never stops moving and New Yorkers are not afraid to show their annoyance and frustration when a tourist slows down the crowded sidewalks. New York is home to all sorts of amazing restaurants and food choices, but for the best deals and flavours, head to a local restaurant. Use TripAdvisor, Blogs and Google to find some of the best local establishments in your area and stick to them. They always taste better and are much better value for money. We hope you have an amazing time in New York. Let us know what your favourite thing to do in the city is in the comments below. Take care guys and until next time, stay creative. Stay creative.